Welcome, soccer friend, to the magical world of soccer bedtime stories, where dreams and goals come together. I'm your host, Tomek, and I'm here to accompany you on a journey through the stories of some of the greatest players, games, and tournaments as you drift off to sleep. If this is your first time visiting our soccer dream world, and you enjoy the story, we welcome you to follow and subscribe to listen to all the stories in our library. If you are a returning soccer dreamer, we encourage you to review, comment, star, and like the stories you love most. Your feedback and ideas help us get better and help to expand our soccer dreaming community. Please reach out to us. It's as easy as a pass to a friend. You can just email us at soccerbedtimestories at gmail.com. Enjoy the story, sleep well, and dream big. Hello there, friends, as we embark on our adventure. Let's send a warm greeting to our soccer dreaming teammates, Maxie and Callie. Now, together, let's take a deep breath, snuggle up in a cozy blanket. Let's close our eyes and go to a place where the fields are green and the crowds are loud. Tonight's story is one that will transport us to a magical world where anything is possible. We'll meet great heroes, some villains, travel to far off lands and experience incredible adventures together. So let's close our eyes, relax, and get ready to embark on an unforgettable journey that will fill our dreams with wonder and excitement. Chasing the Legends The story of Kylian Mbappe. Here we are, at the beginning of our story. Look inside this bedroom, where the dreams of a little boy named Kylian take flight. Bed is simple, adorned with a soccer ball at its head, a pillow for a soccer-obsessed boy. Another ball rests in the corner, nestled amid a jumble of clothes. However, it's the walls that tell the tale. Like the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, they celebrate the glory of legends and God. But here, they honor soccer legends and the soccer gods. Kylian Mbappe, hero of our story, was born on December 20th, 1998, in Bondi, a suburb of Paris. His childhood was humble but filled with boundless love of football. His father, Wilfried, former footballer from Cameroon, and his mother, Faiza, a native of Algeria and a former handball player, were instrumental in nurturing Killian's love for sports. Despite the challenges of growing up in a tough neighborhood, Killian's parents worked hard to keep him away from danger, instilling in him a strong sense of responsibility respect, and pride in his Cameroonian and Algerian roots. In the heart of Bondi, where narrow streets echoed with laughter of children chasing dreams, Kilian's journey began. His parents recognized the spark in their son's eyes whenever soccer ball was near. Little did they know that the spark would soon ignite the flame of a footballing prodigy. Wilfried, his father, had been a footballer himself, and it was he who became Killian's first coach. On dusty fields, under the watchful gaze of towering apartment buildings, father and son would practice tirelessly. Wilfried instilled more than just the technicalities of the game. He taught Killian about discipline, dedication, and the invaluable lessons hidden within the rhyme of the ball rolling across the pavement. Isa, Killian's mom, with her roots in Algerian handball, brought a different flavor to Killian's sporting palette. She emphasized the importance of teamwork, agility, and the mental fortitude required to navigate the twists and turns of competition. Killian absorbed these lessons, creating a unique blend of skills that would later set him apart on the world stage. 
Bondi, though brimming with love, was not without its challenges. The neighborhood tested Killian's mettle, but the values instilled by his parents became a shield. As he weaved through the bustling streets, he carried not just a soccer ball, but the pride of his Cameroonian and Algerian heritage. Wilfried and Faiza made sure Killian knew the stories of his ancestors, the rich tapestry of cultures that wove through his veins. They spoke of the resilience of the Cameroonian spirit and the passion embedded in Algerian traditions. Killian, with each step, carried the weight of his heritage with grace and pride. In the evening, after the echoes of street games faded away, Killian would sit with his parents, absorbing tales of distant lands, of football matches played on dusty pitches and handball courts, alive with the rhythm of competition. These stories became the backdrop of his dreams, coloring the canvas of his ambitions with hues of resilience and diversity. As a child, Killian showed remarkable talent early on. At the age of four, he began playing football and by six, he was already a member of the local team, A.S. Bondi, where he quickly stood out as a player to watch. But his talents weren't confined to the soccer field. From ages six to 11, Gillian attended the Conservatory Music School, where he learned to read music and play the flute. His teacher, Miss Bongini, played a crucial role in helping him discover his second best hobby, singing. While his music tutor led the choir, Killian joined in, coolly performing at Bondi's town hall park. The repertoire of songs were varied, mostly French tunes, and they showcased Killian's versatility. Killian, outside of his music, spent hours owning his skills, dribbling, passing, and shooting. Inspired by his idols, Thierry Henry, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Zinedine Zidane, Killian studied their techniques diligently, determined to emulate them on the field. It was when he was only five that his parents took him to meet Thierry Henry. It was a crisp autumn day when Killian, wide eye filled with excitement, met the legendary French striker. The meeting took place at a local football event where Henri had come to inspire the next generation of French soccer players. As Killian nervously approached his idol, Henri's warm smile eased his nerves. Thierry recognized the spark in the young boy's eyes, shared a piece of advice that would echo in Killian's heart forever. Henri said, Believe in your instincts, Killian. Your love for the game is your greatest guide. In 2006, at the age of eight, Kilian moved to Clairefontaine, a national football center in France known for its rigorous training program. Like Harry Potter at Hogwarts, he found himself in Clairefontaine, the renowned national football center. Nestled amidst lush greenery and whispering trees, Clairefontaine beckoned to the most promising young talents of France, offering them a haven to hone their skills and sculpt their destinies. Leaving behind the familiar streets of Bondi, Killian entered a world where the air hummed with the collective dreams of aspiring football stars. This place wasn't just a training ground, it was a sanctuary where passion met, met discipline and potential transformed into prowess. Under the watchful eyes of seasoned coaches, Killian absorbed the essence of the beautiful game the fields, meticulously maintained, became the canvas upon which he painted his dreams in swift movements and precise touches. Every drill, every sprint, and every match played at Clairefontaine was a brushstroke in the masterpiece of his football education. As the sun dipped down below the horizon, casting a warm glow on the fields, Killian learned not just the art of scoring goals, but the poetry of teamwork. The camaraderie with fellow aspiring maestros became the soundtrack of his evenings, a harmonious blend of laughter, determination, and the distant cheers of triumph. Claire Fontaine's rigorous training program was a crucible, forging Killian's skills and character. 
The discipline instilled in him by his parents now found a companion in the structured routines of the academy. Early morning runs became a ritual and tactical sessions unfolded like strategic chess matches. Yet, amidst the sweat and determination, Killian discovered a profound joy, the joy of dribbling past imaginary defenders, the joy of a perfectly executed pass, and the joy of a well-timed goal. Claire Fontaine was not just molding him into a footballer, it was nurturing the spirit of a young artist on a quest for excellence. In this haven of footballing wisdom, Killian's talents blossomed like a rare flower. Coaches marveled at his agility, his lightning-quick pace, and the innate understanding of the game that seemed to defy his age. He became a beacon of inspiration for the other young hopefuls, a living testament to what dedication and a love for the sport could achieve. As the moon cast its gentle flow on the fields, young Killian summed by dreams as vast as the starlit sky, slept with the promise of tomorrow's training and the anticipation of the greatness he was destined to achieve. It was on one of those beautiful mornings after a long run where he met the legendary French midfielder, the magician of the ball, Zinedine Zidane. The meeting took place at Clairefontaine shortly before a training session. Zidane, with a twinkle in his eyes, offered Killian a gem of advice. Never forget where you come from, Killian. Your roots are your strength. Carry them with pride and you'll always find your way home. His talent did not go unnoticed, and major clubs came calling. He visited Chelsea. And, after the visit, he posed with a jersey he was so sure that he would be living in London. The London club never called with an offer. Killian continued his travels to find teams and met his idol, Ronaldo. The meeting took place while Killian and his family visited Real Madrid. His talent had already begun to turn heads. Ronaldo, impressed by the young prodigy, pulled him aside and whispered words of wisdom. Killian, dedication is your secret weapon. Train hard, dream big, and the world will watch you shine. The words inspired the young Mbappe, but not enough to lure him to Spain. In 2013, with visits finished, gates of A.S. Monaco's Youth Academy swung open for our young hero. The air was charged with the electricity of dreams and he stepped onto the training grounds where legends were forged. His teammates, once strangers, quickly became comrades in the pursuit of a common goal, playing for the senior team. Among those who would leave an incredible mark on Killian's journey was Antoine, a skillful midfielder with a vision for the game that mirrored Killian's own. Together they formed an unspoken bond, a duo that dazzled the academy with their synchrosity on the field. The echoes of their laughter and shared victories became the soundtrack of Killian's time at Monaco. As young Killian honed his skills under the watchful eyes of the coaching staff, he encountered a mentor in Leonardo Ardine, a seasoned coach who saw in Killian the spark of something extraordinary. Leonardo's guidance went beyond tactical advice and delved into the psychology of a rising star, shaping Killian's mindset and fortifying his resilience in the face of challenges. The finding moment came during a crucial match against a rival academy, with seconds ticking away, the score deadlocked and the pressure mounting, Killian found himself facing a penalty. The stadium held its breath as he stood on the spot, channeling the lessons from countless training sessions. The ball met the back of the net, securing victory, and that reverberated beyond the pitch. But it wasn't just the victories that defined Killian's time at Monaco. It was the camaraderie he forged and shared defeats and the unwavering support teammates whose encouragement became the bedrock of his resilience. Just two years later, the culmination of years of hard work arrived as our hero at the tender age of 16 made his professional debut for the senior team. 
The moment wasn't just a personal triumph, it was a collective celebration of the academy that had nurtured him. Teammates, coaches, and their supporters erupted in joy as Killian's name echoed through the stadium, marking the beginning of a new chapter in his meteoric rise. The boy who once dreamed amid the soccer-themed walls of his bedroom was now a rising star in the world of football, proving that with passion, dedication, and a sprinkle of magic, dreams can indeed come true. And so, from PSG to the Champions League and the Golden Ball at the World Cup, the story of Kylian Mbappe's enchanting childhood continues to inspire kids around the world to believe in their own dreams and chase them with all their hearts. The lessons that echo through each stride is the unwavering belief that dreams fueled by passion and dedication have the power to defy expectations. From those narrow streets of Bondi to the hollowed grounds of Kellerfontein, Killian's journey teaches us that resilience, cultural pride, and the joy found in disciplined pursuit are integral threads in the fabric of success. As young soccer dreamers like you and Maxi and Callie embark on their own adventures, May they draw inspiration from Killian's tale, the belief that dreams, no matter how audacious, are within reach for those who persist. So sleep well, and dream big, soccer friends. Hey soccer friends, if you enjoy soccer bedtime stories, you might also enjoy the Soccer Time Machine podcast. It is a soccer history daily for kids, by kids. Join our young soccer fans on an epic adventure through the history of the beautiful game. From legendary players to historic moments, we'll explore it all in a fun and engaging way that's perfect for young soccer fans like you. So grab your jerseys and get ready to kick off this exciting journey with the Soccer Time Machine podcast on August 1st, wherever you listen to podcasts. Subscribe and follow to make sure you don't miss an episode. Now, off to our bedtime story, Sweet Soccer Dreams.